The Mummy might have been a financial and critical flop, but I still think it'd be a pretty good backdrop for a theme park ride. This ride would utilize the same ride system used in Skull Island Reign of Kong and Fast and the Furious Supercharged. It would also have a good uh, mix of screen usage and practical sets as well as practical effects. That all being said, let's get straight into the ride. Guests would enter a hospital located somewhere in the United Kingdom. They would be informed via flyers on the walls and televisions hanging from the ceiling that the hospital was looking for new volunteer EMTs to help man their ambulances. Doctors and other hospital personnel on the television would tell guests that the first step in their training for becoming volunteer EMTs would be to get familiar with the ambulance truck and the area surrounding the hospital that falls within the hospital's jurisdiction. Guests would then board a giant ambulance truck specifically meant for volunteer EMT tours. The driver of the ambulance would be your tour guide as well as a well-respected professional EMT. He would tell you that his name is Davis and he takes this job very seriously as lives are on the line every day. Any joking around will not be tolerated on this truck. The tour would begin as a basic nighttime tour of a rural UK town, just outside of a major city. After a brief tour of most of the general area, we would eventually make our way to the underside of a bridge. Davis would tell us that many injuries and deaths that occur here, mostly due to drug deals falling through and other crimes. So familiarizing ourselves with this location is important. However, while traveling under the bridge, we pass a few decayed corpses scattered around the ground. Davis says those were probably some people the hospital was never called in to save, so don't worry about that. We then approach a small lake with a forest behind it, right beside the bridge underpass. We start to turn our vehicle around as we look to exit the underpass. However, we notice a gray sarcophagus with its lid popped off on the ground. This causes Davis to stop the vehicle. Initially, Davis thinks this is some kind of prank we put on him, which of course it isn't. However, because he thinks it is a joke, he then begins to yell at the guests, telling them that if you really want to work here, you can't be making dumb jokes while on the job. However, at some point during his spiel, he suddenly stops talking. We hear vague, high-pitched noises coming from the distance until eventually reanimated corpses jump onto the vehicle from all angles, shaking it. We quickly realize that Davis is no longer with us, and eventually, the car begins to roll as Davis never put the car in park and only had his foot on the brake. Eventually, our car begins to roll down the hill adjacent to the lake into the forest. We then go flying past trees and other shrubbery, narrowly avoiding them. Eventually, the ground beneath us flattens out, but our cart still continues to speed through the woods. That is, until the vehicle comes to a quick and sudden stop. From in front of our vehicle comes a woman covered in bandages and with Egyptian hieroglyphs tattooed all over her. We quickly put two and two together and realize this is the person that came out of the sarcophagus at the lake and reanimated all those corpses. This is the mummy. She screeches and then picks up our vehicle and tosses us out of the woods, crashing into a church, stopping directly in front of the altar. The church is lit with candles, and when we crash into the building, a lot of the candles fell over, thus starting a massive fire in the building. This would be achieved using practical effects and real fire. However, a path in the flames would clear out and from it, the mummy would appear. And then with a snap of her fingers, the flames would vanish. Once the flames vanish, more corpse minions appear surrounding our vehicle. The mummy then pulls out a red crystal dagger and her minions begin to chant some sort of demonic ritual. She approaches our cart and cocks back her arm as she gets ready to strike. However, right before she can, the authorities arrive and begin firing off at her, making her drop her dagger and making her and her minions retreat. One officer approaches our vehicle, asks if everyone's okay, grabs the dagger, and then hops in the driver's seat of the ambulance. He informs guests that the rural areas are not safe and that he's going to take us to the city where they are more prepared for this monster's attacks. After a short drive, we arrive at the city. The police officer tells us he is going to bring us to a safe house where we can wait out this threat. However, on the way there, we come to a stop in the middle of an intersection. On the left side of our vehicle, we begin to see dust flying in the wind past our cart. But then, from the left side of the intersection, comes a giant sandstorm with a person's face superimposed into it. The police officer freaks out and begins to drive us away from the sandstorm. In his haste, he crashes into a construction site, eventually leading us into an underground mine. We travel through the tombs found in the mine until reaching a dead end. The mummy then once again appears. 
She pulls the officer out of the vehicle, tossing him across the room. She then summons a new army of the dead from the tombs found in the mine. They surround our vehicle, shaking it while clawing at us. The mummy begins to laugh as it seems our souls are hers and our tour is over. However, suddenly the mummy abruptly stops laughing and all the reanimated corpses around our car collapse. We then see in the distance that the officer stabbed the mummy right through the chest using the crystal dagger he picked up from the church. Once the officer removes the dagger, the mummy drops like a sack of bricks and vanishes away, thus ending the threat. The officer then returns to our vehicle and says, let's get you guys home. We then arrive at the exit station at the hospital. Before we exit the vehicle on our right, on the left side of our cart, we can see the silhouette of the officer exiting the vehicle from behind a hospital curtain. The officer says he doesn't feel so good and then begins to transform. He eventually transforms into some sort of deformed creature, screeches, and then runs away. When exiting through the hospital, the halls are littered with knocked over medical equipment, corpses, and of course, a lot of sand. And that is the end of the ride. So uh, let me know what you thought of this ride in the comments. Uh, I know it's based on a pretty bad movie, but <laughs> I still think it's a pretty good idea for a ride. So let me know what you think, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.